<laughs> Did you guys almost die or something? I mean, that was both of our faults. Love you, bud. Oh, yeah. I'm like going to make a sharp turn, and Judson's coming to make a sharp turn, and our cages were like. Your cages? Yeah. Careful, Dan. I'll be all right, man. <laughs> I've, I've seen way worse than this. This isn't Periot Mesa. I think we need an echo check. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give it a go, ready? Yep. Woo! Nothing. Nothing. So I'll give this uh, place an echo score, negative one. Negative it's terrible. One. I'm leaving a bad review. Put that on Yelp. All right, so here we are at the launch site for Horseshoe Bend. We just met up with three other paramotor pilots. Got the motors out, got the wings laid out. We're pretty much ready to go, although we are getting somewhat of a late start. There's a little wind, um, which normally would be fine, but we're flying in a thousand foot deep canyon, so we'll have to feel it out when we get over there. But the actual Horseshoe Bend is only like two miles from here, so we'll get in the air, we'll fly over, and uh, we'll be there in no time. Horseshoe bent, climbing high over this power line hazard. There's a lot of power lines and they're really tough to see with this backdrop. There she is, Horseshoe bent. Hell yeah, this is the shot. Cresting right over the edge. <laughs> That's insane! This is the perspective I've been wanting to see that I don't think a lot of people get to see except those campers down there. Hell yeah. Horseshoe bend from the bottom. Honestly, it smells uh, a little swampy. A lot of this river water has tons of algae or seaweed or something. It stinks down here. Yeah. All these people are cheering. worried about having a motor out and like getting stranded down here because uh, it is pretty remote like it's several miles either way by boat to get out but you know these campers are so stoked they'd probably take us in give us some breakfast some coffee and let us hang out motor out actually sounds like a good idea down here now it's getting a little 
little bit more thermic around this corner. Wow, this is a big canyon. A thousand feet deep, according to Google. It's a big, big wall. Look at this wall. That's so trippy. <laughs> Looking up and you just see smooth rock. So I'm gonna climb up and out of the canyon. There's a lot of power lines ahead. Surely we are making our way back to the LZ. I'm gonna fire up the generator, take a hot shower, get the uh, espresso machine heating up. Did you guys almost die or something? I mean, that was both of our faults. Love you, bud. Oh, yeah. shit. That was both of our faults. I saw you dive in the cliff, right? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna swoop by these people. And the next thing I know, I see you like, yeah, right Yeah, and I'm there. like, I'm like chilling over the thing and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. I'm like going to make a sharp turn and Judson's coming to make a sharp turn and our cages were like. Your cages? Yeah. Oh. Dude, flip the flip. Rewind that. <laughs> Dude, yeah, man, you guys are like so close. <laughs> I turned sharp enough to flip the chase cam too. Oh, yo, that you guys almost like touched. Was that like heels? Fifteen feet. Yeah. Fifteen. Try like five. Five. I was like, I'm gonna dip down. I was like, holy <laughs> right here. I'm like, no, I'm not. Damn. <laughs> anyway. Damn. Anyway, good morning. Glad no one died. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so what you just witnessed there was my man Judson and Dan debriefing a legitimately scary moment that happened in the bottom of Horseshoe Bend. I asked both Judson and Dan if they were okay with me sharing this footage and they both said the same thing, that it was okay to share because it is a safety lesson. They were both mutually at fault, but also not really at fault. No one was doing anything wrong, but both of them saw the collision coming and just barely narrowly avoided. Both of them had great reactions. I guess best possible scenario to prevent things like this is just being hyper aware when you're flying with other pilots and especially in confined settings, but these things can still happen. I had a ton of fun flying Horseshoe Bend. After this, we've got basically two more videos left in the series. One is the Airplane Boneyard, where they're storing a ton of airliners right now due to the current situation of the world. And also just a compilation of adventures and flights and base jumps that I did in the Phoenix area. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not yet. Like the video if you like the video and check out our Risky Biscuits Co. merch linked in the description. Till the next one, I will see you guys. Peace. Three, two, one, see ya. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, dude.